Okay, I think we are live. Hi. Hi, everyone. So we are back with your weekly cooking tips and back with Chef Honor. Yay! And one of the things that has always thrown me when I started getting into healthy cooking, um, I'm not a chef. In fact, Daniel says I went from disaster to master. She's awesome. Well, I wanted to cook, but I'm a nurse, not a chef. So I was really into the science behind it. And I wanted, like I was studying all the like health benefits and the, the food science. So I'm like, oh, I understand this. And then I went into the kitchen and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> like, what do I do now? Because it's it was complicated for me. It was overwhelming. It was confusing. So all the terminology and the different tools. And so we want to make that easier for you. We're going to spend time um, just over, over time. Yep. We're going to throw tips in there for you, right? So, yes. mm -hmm. and what seems simple to a chef is not simple mm -hmm. to a lot of us. Mm -hmm. And that was for me, like I, even just something as simple as I was reading and a recipe and they said, um, use a broom, what is it, brunoise? Brunoise. Dice, and I'm like, what the heck is a brunoise <laughs> dice? Or even in the very beginning, it was said a julienne mm -hmm. dice, and I'm like, Right. Okay, I have no idea what these people are talking about. I understand. And then, you know, a mandolin. Right. And some of the tools. And it's overwhelming mm -hmm. for those of us who don't know. Right. So, and we're going to talk about how to not cut your fingers off. Hopefully. <laughs> Both of us have had our share of uh, <laughs> accidents. In fact, what was it? Whoops. A couple months ago? We yes. had to take you to the ER. We were yeah. there until about 1 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. Six stitches right here on my finger. Yeah, thank God it didn't look as bad as it was mm. while we were here. She almost passed out. And um, the blood had caked so badly in it that we couldn't see how bad it was. We got to the hospital and I was like, I didn't tell her how bad it, was it really like was. It was like filleted fish. Okay, no, the let's tip move on. on. Yeah, <laughs> let's so move on. <laughs> we're going to teach you how to not do that. Don't do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Right. Okay, so um, I have actually prepared a little sample here of some knife cuts, some basic knife cuts. Um, and what I want to show you is some of the terms that they use, the classic French technique, um, and how I interpret it into recipes that I write for you. Um, so I hope that you can see this and if I'm not, I'm going to take it over. Uh, okay. I'm going to take a photo of this as well and I'll put it in. I'm going to um, zoom in. How about that? Okay. So, um, first of all, we have a fine dice or mince. Now it's really small. Hold up to the camera. Sorry. Can you see so that? It's very small. Now this is what would be considered a brunoise cut, a small fine dice. So like tonight, I'm going to make cauliflower rice, and right. I'm going to add in some veggies. This is a fine dice that I would put now, into... Now, would that be a brunoise? Yes, into okay. a cauliflower rice. Now, technically, a brunoise needs to be a perfect little square, or else you fail culinary school. Uh -huh. Okay. So, <laughs> just kidding. Um, next, we have a small dice. Here you go, which is smaller than a dime. Um, sort of salad size. Yeah, salad size. Small, small bite size. Now, a medium dice would be a little bit larger little bit smaller than a quarter. Um, you would use this for maybe like a soup um, or again a, a nice salad size. And then there's a large dice which you would use like about this size which is about a silver dollar or bigger and um, maybe roasted veggies. Yeah ro roasted veggies or a stew or you know um, anything that you don't need to necessarily be uh, picky about. So those are your cuts and I'm going to show you really quick actually what a julienne cut is. Now first and foremost, you want to make sure that your knives are always sharp because if they're dull, you're going to cut yourself. You're going to slip and slide and it's going to be a hot I'm going to zoom in on you so you can actually see this. So you can see all my imperfections. <laughs> um, okay, so what I do before I put down a, um, a cutting board is I want to secure it with some kind of either like a damp towel or paper towel or Oh, see, a that's a good mat. tip. Okay. Yeah. You want to make sure. Up. Good tip. Yes. You want to make sure that your cutting board is secure when you are chopping. <laughs> I didn't know that until just now. Yeah. It's important. Okay. So my knife is sharp. Make sure it's sharpened. I take my knives to a sharpener, professional sharpener, once a month or sooner, depending on how often I need it, and I make sure that they're sharp. Okay, that's important. Then, you have your vegetable. So, question, are you more likely to cut yourself if your knives are not sharp? No, that's what I was saying. You want them to be sharp because if they're dull, you're gonna be trying to cut into stuff and it's gonna be all like Slipping wobbly and weird. Right. And not slicing through quickly. Okay, 
So she was talking also about a julienne, which you'll use for like salads and that kind of thing. So a julienne is just a long, thin strip basically. And I am not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. But what I do is I just take my veggie and I cut them into nice. So I see you're tucking strips. your fingers in. Yes, so you okay, tuck so your fingers in. Do that again so I can zoom in. So you tuck your fingers in and you just kind of go like this. And you want to protect your fingers like a square with the knife. Okay? Create yourself a guard. Put your thumb behind if you want to. Um, and there you go. That's a julienne. So long and skinny. Yep. Long and skinny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't they just say long and skinny? <laughs> if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask me. Okay. So... I'm going to start some segments with you guys on machinery in the kitchen. And what I want to start with is one of the basic things that I use every single day. It is a food processor. Switch, switch places? Sure. So, um, we, I use two different size food processors. I don't know if you can see them. Do you want to make sure yep. that they can see both sizes? Um, sorry. And then um, I want to give you some tips because I find that people have these sometimes. They'll get them on their wedding registry and never even use them. These are my favorite cooking tools, by the way. Yeah. Because no, they save so the much time. time. If you have the Brain Warriors Way cookbook, you're going to notice that most of the recipes call for throwing things into your food processor yes. for a reason. Because I tried to make it a time-saving um, book. I use it for salad dressings, like sauces, for mm -hmm. veggies, for like yep. everything. Okay, so one fun tip is garlic. We have a lot of garlic in our recipes, garlic, ginger, all the good stuff, all the herbs that we love. And I know that people sometimes are hesitant to use garlic because it makes your fingers smell or whatever. This is awesome. You just take like a bag of garlic from the store, organic, and just take them all and dump them in your food processor at the beginning of the week. Love it. This is a, this is a great time to Yeah, tip. this is cute. So, just throw it in there. And then you have a bunch of minced garlic. So this fits along with, so I've always talked about ways to save time. In the beginning of the week, we often like do these, you know, we take time to boil a dozen eggs. Um, you know, grill chicken breasts mm -hmm. and leave them in the fridge yeah. and like do a bunch of stuff like that. This is another thing you can do. We make salad dressing and like make a big bunch of it. Yep. So this is a great tip. Yes. That just took you like 30 seconds. Yeah. Not even that. No big deal. And then you've got, for the rest of the week, you've got your garlic done. And if you don't want to use your hands like a chef does, just use a spatula. <laughs> but now that's done for the recipes for the rest it's of the week. It's all done. Now, another fun tip is this guy. This is your grater attachment for your food processor. Clip it in there. Line it up. That's what that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do as I say, not as I do. Hold that thing's been in my drawer for I don't know how long, and it's just been sitting there. You line it up. <laughs> I use it. That's hilarious. Okay. So, what you're going to use this for, we make a ton of cauliflower rice, or right. veggies rice, broccoli rice, um, uh, sweet potato rice. So what I do, I'm like, in your, do you want to like switch now? Oh, we're good. Okay. okay. So what I do is I just take the cauliflower. I'm going to zoom in again. Plop it in here. I might just stay over there. So she, she's grating it up. Now you can also do this on a box grater if you don't have a Cuisinart um, food processor of any kind, but what you'll get. So you just made cauliflower rice. It's cauliflower rice, cauliflower little shreds. So we eat a lot of cauliflower rice. So yeah, tonight we're gonna make cauliflower stir fry. Awesome. Fried rice. Okay. So that's So is look how easy that tip. is, it's so fast. And then I have one more Someone else, someone you. said, uh, let's see, Kathleen said she uses it for shredding her zucchini. Absolutely, yep. fantastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one more fun tip that honestly was something that occurred to me just a couple of years ago because I've never had to think about it. I had a client whose daughter got super sick from E. coli poisoning while they were traveling abroad and she was terrified to eat meat, ground meat especially. And um, they would not allow any ground meat to come in their house. And so I showed her, I said, what we can do is buy whole meat, break it down a little bit, and throw it in your food processor to make things like hamburger 
or chicken. Um, so That's a great tip because what I've often done is at the grocery store had the butcher just do it for me. Like you can do that too. But this way you can just get but it. This and is do my it. thought is that if you are out at Costco and you buy a bunch of chicken right. thighs and you want to try and use it in a couple of different ways and make patties with it, um, or if you get you know if you find a great deal on some organic chuck roast or whatever. Um, this is an awesome way to use it also and you know what's going into it That's the other thing is that oftentimes when you buy ground meat at the grocery store They can add stuff to it. They yep. can add food coloring to it to make it look fresher They sometimes will add ingredients like MSG or uh, God forbid gluten, you know ingredients You just never know what has been put in there. So buy organic, please But also um, what you can do is just throw your chicken in there or your beef or your Some, fish. Someone's asking really quickly, what are you making? We're actually just doing cooking tips to cooking make tips. Cook, Yeah, to make it easier, whatever you're making. All right, so then that's it. And then you just grind it. Oh, put the part in it that belongs. And you'll see, you have ground chicken. Fantastic. Or ground beef or ground fish or whatever you're working with. And it's an awesome way to use meat in a variety of ways. Awesome. So uh, there's a whole bunch more, obviously. Um, eight cookbooks later, I've had to learn this the hard way. Then she comes along and I'm like, I could have saved so much time if I had just known that one little thing. <laughs> so we're going to have Honor coming back um, and yep. doing lots of these little tips. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. She's going to answer questions for you here. She's also our coach on Brain Fit Life. Yes. So those of you who are already members on our online community, Brain Fit Life, she is there to specifically walk you through recipes, help you answer all of your questions. She's basically your, your chef yes. on Brain Fit Life. I'm here for you. So, um, but we're going to be doing these, um, these tips and recipes weekly. So mm -hmm. hope you enjoy yep. and send your questions in. Yay. Bye guys. Enjoy. Have a great week.